Matt. Wait. Hello. Um, wow, we are here. This is uh, insane. We are the Dragon Friends. We are a small group of uh, losers from Australia. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that's oh, come on, Dave. What's up, internet? <laughs> <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, let's hear for Stream of Annihilation, who have brought us down to play. Uh, it's up. We're in the uh, Northern uh, Hemisphere. It's, it's relative. How badly are you screwing this up? <laughs> it's, it's relative. You, you, relative to where? It's, it's, it's a globe. No, but it is accepted that... Even though it's a globe, we still have a traditional up and down. That's why you fly down yeah. to Melbourne, you fly up to Brisbane. Anyway, I just wish you could give it. You absolutely right. messed it up, but we're here. So that's here. Thing. Hello, We're from Australia. Australia. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to play? Because mm. yeah. if, if you want to play, we can play. But if you mm -hmm. want to just sit here and we could have flown 17 hours and then be mocked in no. this wonderful studio. Same. I'm up for it. I mean, I'm down for it. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be playing the first adventure of a brand new series that we are going to be doing with Wizards of the Coast of Tomb of Annihilation, the new adventure. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we are going to be starting it today. So this is going to, we're going to go on a little break after this session and then we are going to be doing weekly streams of this adventure. Every week. Mm -hmm. Every week. It's going to be wild. Yeah. Um, but shall we just get started straight away because we only yeah. have 90 minutes? Yes, Dave. Sure. All right. So uh, take it away. Our bard, Mr. Benny Davis, give us a little bit of a music. I know we're not doing the song, but just like... I normally just follow you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we are ready and prepared for this. Tell me where we are and what's going on. Yum, yum, and yum, give us a bit of an intro Guys, and then I maybe just... I can accompany it. Unfamiliar <laughs> sounds and even stranger smells assail your senses as you slowly, reluctantly rise from a deep and dreamless sleep. With your eyes still closed, the sun beating down on your back and the ground rocking gently below you, you guess yourself on some kind of ship, though where and how is anyone's guess? Ooh, spaceship? Yeah, spaceship. Anyone's spaceship. guess. That's, the, that's why you feel the sun, because it's yep. quite close yep, when you're in space. That's, where I, that's what I was going for, thanks. Do I, I hear guesses. any seagulls? You hear what seems to be the roar and crashing of waves. But again, you are coming out of this deep sleep. Slowly your senses are returning to you. And as you try to think back to the last thing you remember, nothing surfaces except strange images. Giant metal ziggurats, a silver tower stretching towards the heavens and darkness, a journey far from home. As you begin to open your eyes, you immediately regret it. Far. We regret opening our eyes. Yeah. All right. You see, what I'm trying to do here, Hang, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of this show, but I try to build us up with a spiel. Um, <laughs> what you're doing is you're coming in and you're cutting through everything. Well, time. no, it's just if I'm regretting opening my eyes, like you telling me I'm opening my eyes and you telling me I'm regretting it, it's like I had no control over yeah, that, that's you right. know? Tell so you what you're what telling me to do it and then you're saying I'm regretting okay, it. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, that's fair. I'm going to tell you what you see and you can tell me how you feel about it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I just want yes. autonomy in this. All right, all right. So, okay. um, far from a boat's deck, you instead find yourself dressed in filthy rags. Regret. Um, in, a, <laughs> in a heap, disgusting. Uh, dressed in filthy rags with no weapons, in a heap, a foul smelling heap inside a giant rusting cage that is swinging back and forth over a dangerous, ancient, and filthy pit where you can hear bestial screeches below. Ooh. So, how, do, how do you feel about that? Well, am I with my friends? Yes, you are. You are with. I am a okay. Oh. So, how, how hot is it, Dave? It is incredibly hot, humid, stinking. So I'm, 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 I'm sweating. Yeah, you're sweating. Bast on the incredibly handsome man is sweating. Do his, do my abs look really ripped because I'm sweating? It's because I'm kind of like glistening. Is, is that yeah. gonna make it better for you? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because then I won't have regrets because I'll look hot. Yeah. But think it positively. All right. This is this is very um, empowering of all of you. So yes, Bast on the level four now, I suppose. Handsome man. Level four handsome man looks hot. Write that page. down. Write that your abs are glistening. Yeah. Glistening. All right. That might be important later. Uh, Bobby, a uh, uh, halfling rogue, uh, your the smells and spices as someone who is um, smelly and spicy and fami <laughs> but familiar with the docks and trades of Waterdeep, you would actually recognise some of these scents. So if you want to actually make a quick roll, um, sniff just test? perception. Yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen. So this, you passed the smell test. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. So you actually recognise exotic Chilton spices. This is the far off continent, far away from Waterdeep. A uh, Frizo, a yes. uh, homeschooled wizard, is that fair? I'm a warlock, mate. Get, get, get it together. All right, uh, <laughs> a high elf warlock who was raised in a temple absolutely. and has absolutely no ability to communicate or project empathy or in any way okay. cope well, with himself. Like a, a, a swaddling child, an idiot, if you will. With a Seems gun, very basically. Just for the audience. Okay. <laughs> your, um, 
Yeah, you are confused, frightened, and far from home. Filge, you're, you're feeling positive because right. you woke up today, you're in a cage. You feel okay? Yeah, you know, like I got a good night's sleep actually. Right. So Filge, the half orc, because that's what I am, mm -hmm. he's feeling, feeling really good. Right. Um, I'm appreciating the sight, the shirtless baston. Yep. I, I wake he's up. also feeling very. Now, you were dressed in rags. Have you taken your shirt off? No, but I just figure it's more like, kind of like a loincloth rag. Like a midriff rag. Yeah. yeah. I, make, I, I want to make my rags into a midriff. Like a crop top? Yeah, like a crop top. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I think we should all agree to do that. Let's all do it. Yeah, okay, so we're all in midriff rags. As you types. stagger upright and begin adjusting your clothes into beachwear, um, <laughs> you hear, um, again, these screeches sound, and a figure which you had not hitherto noticed um, standing at the side of the cage turns around. He's dressed in rags much as you are, though brilliantly dyed. Um, his um, teeth flash in the sunlight as he um, comes over to you. It seems that this man believes that there is nothing to fear. He's in the cage? He's in the cage. All right, yes, it's great. And he's okay. going to be played by you, Ben. Okay. Uh, he comes over to you and goes, Oh, hey, guys, how's it going? Oh, Halt. No, I like your crop tops. Yes. And if you wish to join us, you also should have a crop top. Do you know top. what? I think I'm going to bloody dive in, and then Good. he does it. All right. What's your name? I'm Juma. You what? I'm Juma. My name's Juma. Juma. How do you spell that? J J U M A. <laughs> oh, J oh, right. Is that necessary? You're no, I just wanted to know if it was a J or a D. It could be a Juma. It could be a Juma. It's Juma. If it was Duma, it could be a, like a. We're in a cage. Mouth. The cage rocks heavily, and the crowd um, roars in triumph as drums begin to sound. There's a crowd. So there's a crowd beneath us. All around behind you, what you thought were the waves is in fact a chanting crowd who are gathered around oh. this pit that seems to fall into nothingness. Oh, okay. So we're putting on some sort of concert. Excellent. <laughs> this is like the opening scene where we all like come down work. and then like... Yeah, it's like Kanye, we're being lowered from the roof. Yeah. May I just say, welcome to Executioner's Row. Ooh. Now is that a record band? Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, are, are you, what's your role in all of this, Juma? Uh, well, I'm, uh, whatever your role is, really. I'm, I'm, I'm a cage bud. I'm a cage buddy with you. We're gonna, we're gonna go into the pit. That's what's, that's what's down there. That's the pit. What's Juma, in the pit? What's in the Oh, untold to... horrors, I'd imagine. Can I do a perception roll to see what it's in the pit? Yeah, absolutely. It's gl gloomy and dark. I and roll a six your, um, <laughs> plus my perception, which is a, noth a two, so eight. Yeah, you get what nothing. am I seeing? I got 13 plus whatever my perception is because I left my character sheet in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got tw tw 12. Um, okay, well, I'm going to say that you guys don't see anything because you don't have a character sheet, Simon. You don't see anything either. Oh. Um, Baston, do you want to give it a go? Baston rolled a six. <laughs> no, so you're going to have to rely on the friendship of your new friend. All right, oh, it could be anything. Could be, could be any m manner of monster or ghoul. Right, Jim, is this some sort of punishment? Are we being punished? Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what you did, but... Uh, what did yeah. you do? Yeah. Look, I don't think that's hugely important, actually. I think it is. I, th I think for us to... Uh, if we're in some sort of prison, we need to establish an order, like a hierarchy. Right. What's your crime? I'll tell you what mine is on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Being too beautiful. Light like genocide. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, yours is, yours is full on. Did you say light genocide? Suddenly you hear the sounds of screeching horns and the chains holding the cage rock and you can see powerful, muscly men glistening even stronger than you, Baston, Sorry, in the sunlight. Can you just pause for a second? Benny? Sorry. Benny, what is that? So Dave said horns. Uh, normally I've got a soundboard on an iPad, but we couldn't plug it in, so I bought this at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's got everything we need, I swear. Like, so let's just try that again. Giant, so screeching horns, distant and foreign sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah that's, that's the best that's thing. Good. Yeah, that works. Right. That's I, good. It's just but so. I, it's not what I normally work with. No, I understand. I'm making do, alright? You're, right? you're, no, well. you're doing very well. You're, you're doing very well. Thank you, Benny. Yeah. And as these uh, figures <laughs> seem to. <laughs> 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 <It's very strange. laughs> They pull, and the drums sound, which sound much better, and they pull on giant winches as chains, one by one, seem to snap off from your cage, and each time the cage lurches in the air, and you can see that soon this cage is actually going to turn inside out, depositing you into the pit as Juma's eyes fairly fall out of his face with excitement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we bloody go! Uh, guys, guys grab I onto grab the roof. Of the, grab onto the roof of the cage. I want to grab onto one of the chains. Like, have the chains yeah. fallen loose? Um, you're gonna okay. Make a dexterity check. DC 12. How far is the drop? Oh from? gosh, that was a cute little five. All right, you swing and a miss. Yep. How far is the drop from the cage? <laughs> it's only like um, 15 feet. Okay. All right, I drop out of the cage. 
I got a 20 and I'm hanging from the top. The cage. This, the cage hasn't opened yet. You've got about. I'm hanging, I'm hanging. I'm getting prepped. You're grabbing, you're grabbing to the cage. Yep. Uh, Frizo places himself against the floor, so when the cage opens, he's going to be on the floor. Okay, amazing. And. I'm going to hang onto the side of the cage. Best right. on with the, hang on. All right, and, um, and Juma's going to uh, leap out of the cage with. with um, Frizo? Frizo. And he's going to say, coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. And it's a reference to something that doesn't actually exist in this world, so it's really baffling. The last chain snaps and the cage, um, a strange. So of artifices uh, creation seems to fall inside out and in that oh. moment make DC 10 strength checks for both of you mm -hmm. uh, Baston succeeds so strong holds on uh, the big one the big one. Oh, the 20 right come on come on mate yep you both hold on successfully now because the cage opens itself inside out the um, the floors actually fall open and then close, smashing on you, Frieza. So you take D6 points of damage. Oh, boo! Oh. And make a DC 15 strength check. Uh, I take one damage and I rolled a... That's a one. That's, That's a one. Good. It's a critical yes. fail. It's a big old one. A critical fail! You fall down, a landing in a heap next to Juma. Um, and Can you... I? And oh, now... I see. We and need again. <laughs> some good news you can now see. For in fact, Executioner's Run is a 40-foot dead run through a trench filled with rusted weapons, old um, skeletons, and the bodies of recently executed criminals with ladders to bright pennants on the far side. And standing between them are three dinosaurs, two velociraptors, and oh, what I believe is dinosaurs. called a Deinonychus. Okay, now... Deinonychus. Deinonychus. Uh, are these magical dinosaurs or regular dinosaurs? Well, they talk. They can't cast spells, right. so you understand. Can they tell? They're only in Velociraptors. But they right. have speech. They have intelligence and they can communicate. Are they clever they, girls? They do have intelligence. <laughs> They're very clever have girls. They open doors? doors. <laughs> One of them's a locksmith. <laughs> um, all right. Well, if there's bodies around, I guess I'll loot the bodies. Yeah, okay, great. You find a rusted sword. Excellent. Um, and they snarl, and at that moment, the chain's holding them. Clean, seem to disappear, snap off the walls, and they are racing towards you. You are both hanging above. Um, what are I you doing? I fell down because I swung and I missed for the chain. Yeah, that's that's fair. Right. So you're can down there, but you landed more gracefully than yeah. Frieza. Can I get one of the bodies? I want to defend myself. So can I get like two skulls and put them on my fist? <laughs> like boxing gloves? <laughs> but they're skulls. Um, Yes. Boxing skulls. So you pull two skulls off heavily armed skeletons on the ground, both of them holding giant powerful clubs and maces, and you put <laughs> the skulls... All right. Congratulations. You now... Should I write that in my weapons? Yeah, that's Skull a D4 gloves. plus your strength. D4 plus four improvised weapon. Um, what are you doing? If I, like, see as I'm hanging onto the cage, if I, like, move my body, can we try and swing the cage? Um, Would you can, actually. Do you know what? I'm going to go into initiative order. So, Bobby, you're up first. Okay, I am going to um, propel myself downwards onto uh, a dinosaur. Hey, um, I'll count that as a charge attack if you can make a dex uh, DC 10. Okay, that's 12 plus Excellent. You've got six, advantage yep. on this, so make an attack with, an, with advantage against an armor class 13. Velociraptor. That's uh, a 19. Yep, okay, that Ooh. hits. So um, I'm trying to like cram on and the aim is to land right like behind its neck and its head. Uh, and so I'm like right behind any biting parts. Right, so you're, this is actually a grapple check, is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. in that case, it's I'm gonna make it opposed by the Velociraptors. Um, I would like to I would like to roll for the Velociraptor, roll, please. Roll, 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 roll the dice. Compare it to your acrobatics. Uh, 13. 13, that you will do not... do acrobatics? <laughs> yeah. That's a game changer. <laughs> well, well, well. In that case, you are now hanging on to the neck of the Velociraptor, and it is now staggering at disadvantage, completely... I'm covering lost, its eyes. ...lost its cool. <laughs> and I'm opening them to, like, disorientate it one eye to the other. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like... <laughs> Sure. Um, <laughs> it's like it's its own stop motion film. Juma, what do you do? Uh, Juma, am I near a body? You were racing ahead of them, I believe. So yeah, oh, yeah, as you run past, there is a wicked rusted cutlass on the ground. Yep, I uh, take the cutlass. Yep. And I uh, charge at the one that the the, the big one, the big one, yeah. The Deinonychus. Yeah. Okay, great. You make an attack, racing in. Yep. Uh, beat armor class thirteen. I do not do that. That's I a... roll a two. All right. I so roll a two, a numerical two. Swing and a miss, and it's now the raptor's turn. The two, one of the raptors tries to shake you off, rolls a two and fails, so you're still on for now. And the other one jumps at Frizo, runs right past Juma, and makes a run for Frizo in a crumpled heap on the floor. All right. Um, and this is 
we'll say um, that's an 11 plus the. So that's 13. What's your armor class? 14, baby! Swing and a miss. I fought off a dinosaur! Which just leaves the Dionychus, which now attacks you, Juma. A point of order. What is a Dionychus? It's like, I, according to Volo's Guide to Monsters, mm -hmm. it's a velociraptor but bigger. Oh, okay, uh, like a T Rex. Uh... No, I think there was T-Rexes in there as well. And Actually, Deinonychus is what a, um, a raptor is in the Jurassic Park movies. It's a misnomer, so that's oh. what the size they are. And it can are. also oh. handle knob doors. Oh, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> it, can do, it can do key code doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good with doors. Right. Right. The Deinonychus rolls a 13, which means it hits you, Juma. Juma, yep. um, And it's a pounce attack, so now I need you very quickly to make a DC 12 strength attack. Strength attack! That's an 8 oh. plus nothing. You're down, um, which means it gets to bite you oh. twice. And oh. also, then it, it attacks you. So with its multi-attack, which means you're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, um, quick Juma, dragon so, huddle. Uh, quick dragon huddle. A velocity. Yeah, what? What are we holding um, about? Do we want to keep this Duma guy alive? Do we want to try and protect him and befriend him? Throw him to the dinosaurs. We'll throw him to the dinosaurs. Opinion. Two of the I think attacks. He's getting eaten as we discuss this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, In a way, we've already made up our mind. By <laughs> <laughs> like excluding him from the huddle. Duma, you take uh, 13 hit points worth of damage. Oh. So you have four hit points left. So Filch, take his skull. So, <laughs> for rich one. so one dinosaur is on top of Frizo, which is below the cage. Can I jump onto that dinosaur from the cage? That's yes. on. If you miss though by less than five, I'm gonna make you hit Frizo. Alright, that's fine. What's the what's the thing? Okay, I'm rolling a dice. Armor class 13. 16. Right. Boom, so boom. Good. You land, that counts as a charge attack, so you attack. I wanna pull out its eyeballs with my hands. Yeah! That's grim! Just like get in there and like. Okay. okay, you're not gonna. All right. Wow. Do you know what? Sure. Um, Can I make an attack? Yeah, so that was your attack. So you've already uh, hit. So roll okay. d4 and add your strength bonus. Okay. I get plus three. One plus three is four. All right. You 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 heard it. You you actually gouge one of its eyes and it screams in pain, roars up on its hind legs, and you get down onto the ground. What's a dinosaur scream sound like, Ben? Do you have beast talk or is it just... Oh, what? You, I've got beast speech. You do have beast speech. What's the dinosaur saying? Well, are you using beast speech? So, so to yes. you guys it sounds like... Aah! Right? Yep. <coughs> but to Hing, <laughs> yep, to Frizo, to Frizo it sounds like... Oh my goodness! It, owie dowie! <laughs> What? He says, oh, that, that's, a, that's a real, that's a real, that, that smart's right in, right in the that's, old eye. Is this, a, <laughs> is, this a, is, this a, is this a dinosaur a child of sorts? It's, just, it's how raptors sound. Yeah, it I is mean, how raptors That irritating? Sound. I'm a big scary dinosaur. Uh, that's what he sounds like. Is he a scarier one maybe? Okay. Just, it's, it's, it's bringing me out of the world and it's okay. kind of... Okay. No, no, it's, <laughs> okay. it's a downer for all of us. Okay, um, all right, it's like... Um, oh, gosh! No, you've gone <laughs> the other way. You've oh, actually no, gone less scary. Oh, no, bloody eyeball! No, could you just... No, that's what he sounds like All now. Right. Frizo, um, I'm going to say that you, because oh, because you, you heard the screeches, you're, you're, big, you're big slow walk. Um, I'm going to say that you get racist. to... <laughs> it's not racist. <laughs> she is a big slow walk. Racist. Uh, Ugh, just, I, I wouldn't want to be you. Yeah. All these people are watching at home and yeah. you just said a real racist, racist. Well, Hashtag has Dave landed yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frizo, I'm going to let you um, say that the beast speech was fine, so you've got your full turn. What do you want to do? Oh, um, I am going to... So Baston's still on top of the dinosaur, right? Yes. I no, no, try, no, he's rolled off. Uh, I was going to try and stab through the dinosaur and get Baston a bit as well. Why, why, why would you do that? You saved your life. Hey, oh, did he? Yeah. All right, all right, I, I, I rescind that request. So the, the Pretend you didn't hear the that. The dinosaurs are what you're fighting. Baston is your friend. Interesting. Friend. Do, you need, do you need flashcards? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> friend. All right, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Uh, in the soft underbelly... Yeah. Of the Velociraptor. You have no weapon. Oh, I've got a rusty sword. Oh, you do? Which I looted from a corpse. Like a pro. Are like you? a pro. All right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna jam my rusty sword into the soft underbelly of the dinosaur. Right. Okay. Oh, did you see John Wick two? No, just come Where on. No, 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 no. <laughs> he stabs a bloke in the gooch. It's out of it control. All right, and I roll like Spoilers, five please. plus. Uh, two is seven. Oh, hey, plus one. You, Eight. You miss. Who would have thought the wizard using a sword misses? Filled you up. You are, I believe, um, you, you missed, fans. you landed. Are there any dinosaur, where's the, there's one dinosaur's on Frieza. One dinosaur right next to you in Frieza. One of them being ridden by Bobby, yeah, and another one control. tearing Juma apart. Oh, I've got a plan, it. don't attack my dinosaur. <laughs> oh, you're, oh yeah, you're sorted. Your dinosaur, right. it's now your dinosaur. I've got a plan. Um, okay, well I am going to, like, run up and, like, skid, like, along the sand. And then I'm gonna like trip the dinosaur over. Like okay, in, a trip like, attack. That's yeah. fine. All right. That's a, trip attack. a bit like in Gladiator. Excellent. Yeah. Or in tennis. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Competitive oh. tennis. Yeah, yeah, competitive tennis. That's, uh, and then what, what do I yep, add yep, to Okay, it, so we're going to call that uh, athletics, which you have a bonus to, which is 17. Seven. Opposed to the... No, no, that's an 11. 11, so yeah, 13. Yeah. Plus 6 is athletics. Oh! oh yeah. And um, that actually makes it. So the it screams, roars, and goes down. Yeah. And it's now prone. And the and next... Say, Eat sand, Dino! Unnecessary, but fine. Okay. Bobby. Did you say Dino. eat sand, Bobby. Dino? Dino, oh, yeah. The shortening of dinosaur is Isn't it like is an Itali Dino. Italian nickname? <laughs> Wouldn't it be Dino? Yeah. Dino. Dino. isn't hugely bright. Bobby. No, she's never actually had to say it before because she's never encountered Bobby. it. Bobby, so I am going to cast Charm Person on the Dinosaur. It's is that allowed? No, because it, it is not a humanoid. What about Charm Dino? Yes. <laughs> He's got that spell. I can see it on sheet. Does not have that spell. He does. Charm Dino. Charm, Charm Dino. Yeah. Charm Dino, yeah. Charm Dino would work. You have Charm to Dino. See, it's a more. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that if I need to. Um, okay. I'm going to disguise myself as a baby Velociraptor. Very good. Very good. Uh, very good, Simon. How are you going to do that? With my um, arcane trickster spell, disguise okay. self. Okay. You are riding it currently doing this with its eyes. Yeah, and then I'll be like, I'm a baby. Yeah, Carry yeah me you around. should say like, I'm a little baby, like I'm that. A little baby. Yeah. I'm going to make that a disadvantage check because that's terrible. What um, do you mean? I, no. Come on. Can we, can we take a vote on this? Or is you just... cannot take a vote on <laughs> this. All right, all in favor of Bobby being able to do it, say aye. Oh, that's, right. Right. that's not how that works. Well, thanks, Eden. <laughs> no, I'm not voting. <laughs> what? It's silly is what it is. Oh. It's silly. <laughs> Benny, make did you vote in that? Make it disadvantage. Was Benny for it? Yeah, I was for it. Man, it's like 5v2. Make what it do I count? What do, what do I do? Um, take it. I just need you to make a uh, charisma check. 11. 11 plus charisma is... But disadvantage, so roll it again. Oh, okay. That one would have made it. Oh, Three. mama. Three does not make um, it. So you, the dinosaur, which you can understand, Frizo, um, sees through this facade. Maybe he sees it as a human baby, which is the most delicious thing to eat. That'd wait be a, a good fail. Wait one. a minute, that's not a little baby at all. Well, to be fair, he can't see me because I'm behind his like back of his head. In so many ways, that makes the spell a little bit useless, though, doesn't it? I didn't get to do it anyway, so uh, <laughs> there's, there's stages to this right. plan. I didn't get to one. He's still so trying to bat you off, but he he actually his is. Hands are too little. Um, and his hands are too little. And Juma, you are up now. Juma. Oh. Um, I'm being event. attacked, right? You are being attacked. Yeah, you're um, being mauled alive. I, do I still have my sword? You still have your cutlass. Um, I'm going to try and like stab him in the neck while he's right. attacking me. Make, a, make an attack. Um, that's a seven. That seven, that will not do it. Right. Um, and now it's his turn, and he rolls a 15 and a 14, which means that they both hit, and he does... Yep, you're dead. If it's any more than four, I'm yep, in a bit of trouble. That yeah. was, uh, that's 14 hit points of damage. And Juma is torn in half. Um, oh, and, but these nice robes got Just torn. before he dies, he flashes a smile at the four of you and um, his last words. Get, welcome, welcome in to the, the voice. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, that's not the dinosaur voice. Yeah. Sorry, my apologies. He goes, welcome to Chul, and then dies. That's, um, that's, a, he, that's what he chooses? Yeah. We feel like could have read that on sign above <laughs> the stadium. Yeah. Welcome to Chul. Yeah. All right, then I he... I think paced. it's good that we that didn't look, make friends with him. That look that Dave just gave Ben then suggests that Ben was meant to give us some vital information. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I do worry about that. Yeah, I was ben thinking... decided not to do. At the same time, I was thinking maybe I was... Look, it's fine. Yeah, that Dave's shoveling his notes to see if he can give that information to another <laughs> character we meet later on. You think a scroll falls out of his pocket? Maybe. Yeah, he's got a scroll. He's got a scroll, I see. Yeah, um, he that. says, welcome to Chul, Just where you are. So now you know that. Can you tell us how to spell it? Uh, the, raptor, <laughs> the raptor bites at you and actually, with a multi-attack, does hit you. Me? I'm afraid to so, say, no, no, still Frizo. Oh, Frizo. No, the raptor's attacking... Oh, mate, Chul! That's the, there's there's three 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 dinosaur. That's the three There's three dinosaurs. Oh, my Pay goodness. Attention. All right, there's a raptor. Right, look at this. This is all, all right, happening. I'm going to beast speech that. Sure. It's right. not even your turn. You take seven points of damage. <laughs> seven? And um, the one that tries to buck you one more time. But it's got this. It's. Um, oh, wait, you know what? It had disadvantage. You're fine. You don't take seven points of damage well, well, because it was well. tripped by Alex. You're I apologize. Welcome. Thank you. Um, the other one tries to buck you but still fails. Right. And no, that's the one I'm on. And it doesn't matter. Fast on. Can I tear out the, the other eyeball of the of the Velociraptor? Oh, can you can you go trick? for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mate. I'm gonna do it. It's bloody one trick fast on over there. <laughs> well, look, I've taken one eye. I'll bloody take the other. Eyeballs? 17. All right, um, T4 plus your strength. So um, good. Baston, are you going to use those eyeballs oh. or can I have those and eyeballs? With a, you can have them. With a huge primordial scream, his biceps glinting, um, Baston oh. actually tears the Velociraptor's head off its neck. It's a bit much. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. And he tosses dead. the eyeballs to Frieza. No, he doesn't. He said he did. He can get them from the dirt. 
Uh, oh. Dirty. Dirty eyeball. Freezer. Uh, okay, so Freezer is going to hold the eyeball. No, he's not. Um, <laughs> Look at me, I'm the take, dinosaur. You can take. Freezer is going to beast speech this uh, raptor. It's, mm -hmm. You already have beast speech on. I know, but I'm going to talk. I'm just going to say? Chat to the raptor. Talking I, to my one. What's the, what's the voice again? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. All right, now it looks <laughs> like that's <laughs> not what we sound like. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a native speaker of the. the is it? Yeah, go I'm on. Trying to oh, hi. I'm yeah, sorry. What do, you, what do you want? I'm just saying. I'm no. on the clock. Oh, what do you mean? This is my job. I'm on the clock. Oh, well, have you ever thought about maybe forming a union? Because I feel like your working conditions are not very good. But one of them is you just got your head ripped off. Oh, oh yeah, but I mean, co collective action like that doesn't really work in most situations. What do you mean? No, I think it's good if you all banded together. Oi, Who's oi, your boss? Oi, Terrence. The other, the Dana Nike goes, Oi, Terrence. Why doesn't he have We're this? bloody working here, mate. Yeah, I know, but he's saying we should form some sort of union. Oh, look. Hey, I've you bloody stay out of his head with that union malarkey, all right? No, I'm just... Oh, the, the, the thing is, did you know the Velociraptors haven't had a wage rise in 30 years? Is that true? Is that true? Is that true? Oh, oh, that's stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Please stop. What? Make a persuasion check. I've just been watching a lot of Bernie Sanders videos since I got to America. <laughs> Make a persuasion <laughs> check. Very... I'm going to say persuading a dinosaur to join a union is DC 15. That's in the manual that's though. What we would, that's what we would call a moderate difficulty check. All right, so. so I rolled an 18. 18. Right. Whatever that is. Looks like the dinosaurs are joining. Now, oh. obviously, you're going to need to elect union representatives. Now, I know I'm not one of you, but I can speak for you <laughs> and deal with the management because I do speak common, which is their language. Oh, what do you reckon? Oh, yeah, look. Well, I don't want to do it. Sounds like a lot of paperwork. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a shy public speaker, so. All right, then. You want, you're not going to be corrupt or anything, I'm going to stop you? this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to stop this negotiation for a second. Oh, while, this is classic while, management. Anyway. While yeah. Frizo screeches at the dinosaurs, <laughs> Bobby, you spot something glinting over the side of the wall, and as you it's look work up, workers' rights. <laughs> as you look up, a weighted rope ladder clutters down the side of the trench, and you see a figure with a bright red feather, which um, whispers. In a, so, well, not whispers, but sort of shouts over the crowd. Oh, right. opposite so of that. Yeah, shouting. Yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> Boy, whispers or shouts? What is it? Do you want to hear what he says? Yes, yes. please. Boy, pancakes, over here. That's Ooh. a shout. A shout. Like, that's that's a definitely a shout. A shout. Yeah. Yes. It's like a Soto shout. A what? Soto voce? And the ladder yeah. clatters down. Right. Um, so, I, I leap up the ladder, and this is going up towards the glinting object. It, what's, the, what's the. It's just um, the buckle on his hat, but yeah, it's this oh. guy that caught your eye. I was like, guys, a ladder! You climbing up it? Yeah, climbing up it. All right, so you're climbing up it. Um, Phil, do you... What are you I'm doing? I'm interested in um, adding these dinosaurs to our band of merry dragon friends. I, I can take care of that. Okay, mm. all right. I, I wouldn't turn them against you if that's what you think. <laughs> if that's what you were thinking, I, I wouldn't... I kind of want to see how these negotiations are <laughs> now. Don't forget, you don't, like, you, don't, don't you don't speak dinosaur. Yeah, but I can tell he's up to something. Not, well, can you? Yeah. He's been talking, the dinosaurs have stopped attacking him and have started like raising their tiny hands. <laughs> it's been about, it's been about like, ten minutes of like one dino chit chat. In this, in this election. <laughs> All right. I'm so you're gonna, you want to run as a separate yes, candidate? Yes, I want to run as a separate candidate. <laughs> All to right, be chief well, of the Raptor Union. <laughs> I just think that this person doesn't even speak your language, so how could they possibly... This is Hillary all over again, do you know what I mean? It is. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it does make a point. She does look nice, but yeah, if she can't really speak our language... Can, can Baston, taking advantage of the situation, rip the head off another rat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, um... Oh, are you gonna just, you're just oh gonna, no, Trevor. I mean, you can. It'll start the combat again. It's many ways... Okay, well, well, I'll just climb the ladder then and right, probably leave this dangerous, <laughs> dangerous situation. You're climbing up out of the out of the, out of of the the pit. You're climbing up out of the pit. Filge is I'm losing an election. Like, <laughs> 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 See, she doesn't even know what you're about. Yeah, she thinks it's all that's screaming. That's all I like at all. Oh, that's unfair stereotype. Oh, that's that's very offensive. All right, and you guys are staying in the pit, are you? Yeah, I'm hanging out. All right, great. You get to the top of the ladder. The ladder gets coiled up again Aww. out of the pit. Why would the ladder get coiled up? It's not going to stay there forever. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, sometimes things have consequences. Um, Field, Field realizes that they're not really on her side, so she like runs up one of their tails and on up their neck and off their head. Like is that a reverse Fred Flintstone? It is a reverse Flintstone. Right, okay. It's in the book. Reverse Flintstone. It's absolutely not you in the book. Up and she jumps off and she. Make um, a DC 30 nearly impossible check. I can't, how do I 
I do a DC 30 with a 20 dice day? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, you fall over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look, the look in your eyes as you realise the day. I'm not going to let you Legolas your way out of this. Why not? I'm very graceful. <laughs> you, she, she you have, have, dinosaurs you, go from the ground up. Everyone knows that. The tail's on the ground. Hang oh. on. Can we interrogate that for a moment? <laughs> dinosaurs go from the ground up. Now, can as I play like something that does not? Yeah, I'd like to. Look, can Clouds. I demonstrate? Sure. Yeah. It's like this. Do, 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 do. It makes that noise. Da Benny, can you make the noise? I think it's the best thing I've ever That's a classic Boom. reverse Flintstone. Uh, yeah, that's a big dinosaur. That's a triceratops. Yeah, These are know. little velociraptors. Dave, They're can I just high. go down oh. and pick uh, Frizo up and, and carry him up yeah, the ladder? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, I'm gonna, wait, I'm do, gonna... do a strength check, because I'll, I'll be fighting this. Oh, because... good, please do. Good, yeah, athletics check. 17. 17, what do you roll? Plus five. Two. Two. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even get it in the dice you tray. Pick free, you pick Frizo up, still negotiating, and you start Pulling your what, way up what's, the Can we give Frizo an opportunity to, to try and get the oh raptor to join the party? I'm yep. going to try and get this 30. <laughs> Do what you want. What'd you roll? If, if I had two, I would have been a 30. So. <laughs> Alright, All right, so as, as Frizo's parting words, uh, he yells at the dinosaurs, Brothers or sisters, I'm not going to assume. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know how gender works with dinosaurs. Are they, there, there would be two genders in dinosaurs. And it's a <laughs> All right, well, I'm sorry. Anyway, look, look, I'm not trying to make fun of it. I just, it, anyway, uh, I just want you to know that this is really unjust and uh, keep fighting the good fight. And if I see you again, I'll help you out. Okay, But before thanks, the velociraptors can even reply, you have crested the lip of Executioner's Run and been dragged out of the pit. One of the last things that all of you see uh, is a figure in this hat with the shiny buckle and feather and three menacing water Davian thugs beside him. But he puts up a hand and makes a signal and sacks are snapped over your heads and you are- Sacks? Sorry? Like sacks? sacks? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I think you just- <laughs> You need to be clear in your words. Dragged away. You know what? You're, you're knocked out as well. You're all hit by. Yeah, because they're yeah, blast, yeah absolutely. Well yeah. done. Uh, you, <laughs> do I hear any careless whispers? <laughs> there are. I just, in this building, there are, there are Dungeons and Dragons players in this building everywhere. I could replace all of you. So <laughs> I don't normally have this opportunity. So just a little. They're not going to want to work with you after this. Yeah. <laughs> Off that sax debacle. I'm like, Goodness. Uh, and you were dragged through the safety of the crowd, which is already starting to turn in anger because the velociraptors have stopped fighting, seeming to be erecting primitive flags and pennants, and yeah. are now yeah. marching up and down the run. Yeah. Uh, solidarity! Solidarity Solidarity forever! <laughs> Where are we, Dave? Okay. <laughs> An interminable amount of time passes and then you could feel yourself being carried in a wagon and then deposited down some steps and the sacks are removed and you find yourselves in, in, a, jazz club. in a smoky cell. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think the sacks were that necessary. You find yourselves you in... You could have used like Hessian bags. Find, <laughs> that's a sack. That was my joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lot to get through. We have a lot to get through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Find yourselves um, in a smoky cellar. Um, inside some of those figures, you see already polishing and flipping a coin by the fireplace, the figure in the hat from before. A couple of ruffians lounge with wicked looking knives by the door and seated on a crate of what appears to be full of plantains, you find a figure that you have, that you recognize, for this is in fact Janos Mir, the beggar king of oh. Waterdeep, your former employer and a man that you skipped town on recently. We owed him a lot of money, didn't we? We do owe him Ooh. some money. Well, 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 what have we got here? That's a scary voice. It's Bobby Pancakes himself. Bobby! Yeah? Bobby the, the, the bad boy pancakes. Bobby! Sh shit for eyes pancakes. They did ask us about swearing, so. Bobby! Bob. Bobby Bobson, the, 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 the man with nine toes. I think what's happened is, because Ben can't swear, he's really struggling to improvise. Yeah, yeah. Because he it's a real so impediment. It's filth. really hard. <laughs> well, 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 I seem to have snagged myself some dragon friends. You I don't know. Nice abs, how they glisten in the sun. Thank you very much. Janos Mir, beggar king of Waterdeep. Baston Indurovich, handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, it's always a pleasure. Nice to see you again. Does Filch remember who this is? Filch <laughs> <laughs> like whistled at the corner of her eye. Is that the Dracula from season three? <laughs> <laughs> He's a very distinct character. <laughs> <laughs> 
And freeze on me old mate, me old china plate. Oh, oh, wait, oh wait, that's what I'm in Cockney State. It's not a race thing, it's... <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> Trying to play. Oh, this is bad. What's that? What's, what, that is... Hashtag has Janos landed, yeah. <laughs> what is the... Just, if we can break out of the world sure. for a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying yeah. To play, for a moment. Just trying to play it is... It's trying to play it rhymes with play. mate, and so you'd call just, someone... Could you, just like you go down the frog and toad road. Road. Right, okay. Just rhyming. the way you said... You, for... did, you, you just did a lot more emphasis on the word China. China. Again, the word again, play. the inability to do swears has seriously... It's made seriously... me unbelievably racist. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously impeded his ability. Last time, last time you met Janus Mir in the beggar, the beggar King's Court beneath Water Deep, he was performing tasks that the those highfalutin lords of Water Deep would not sully themselves with, but those which were necessary for the city's operations. And here in Chult, it is the same old business. Uh, Mir hates the humidity, the the stink of the Grand Souk. Uh, the flies that are in the air and the people and the sea and basically everything. It's not, it will, be, it will be quicker for me to list the things that I like about this place. He lists Name the him. things he likes about <laughs> this place. <laughs> uh, there's a, uh, well, uh, there's a tapas bar that's quite nice. Uh, that's good, that's down the road. Uh, I like uh, Kathy. Um, Who's that? She's just a lady. It's a comic you read? It's a comic I read, it's very humorous. Uh, I seem to remember that you're a, quite a, a, a distinguished art collector. Is there any artists in this particular area that uh, uh, Yeah, there's a, there's a there's a impressionist painter down in the impressionist quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some of his art, actually. Uh, but that's the only three things I like. Uh, the so tapas Janos. bar, Kathy, and the painter. Janos, you remember who wanted to execute us? Oh, uh, no. Last I heard, uh, the, uh, t what's his name? Gaston. No, the, the my offsider. Oh, uh, Trisel. Trisel. Trisel here just saw you at market. Yeah, uh, and I thought, what are they doing here? I'll oh, bloody chuck a ladder down, won't I? Is that his voice? Yeah, I Trisel. thought I gave you, I did that, I... Is that the hat man? Yeah, that's the man in a shiny hat. Well, it's got a shiny bucket on it. Look at my hat. Can I Look at his hat. Why is there a bucket Look on at his hat. hat. I'm looking my and I'm hat. asking, what's the belt on the hat holding well, up? otherwise my hat falls down. <laughs> 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 uh, Janos goes on um, several hours later to tell you that the reason that he has come here, he has been sent by the Lords of Waterdeep to secure quantities of that most precious substance, Lathic Turtle Dye, an incredibly valuable dye native to Chult that is used all across the Sword Coast to write spells, spell books, and magical documents. There's a shortage of it, everyone's going mad. They're like, oh, we, we need the dye, Janos, I will pay you. And I go, well, well, how much then? You know, because I'm a businessman. And they say, 30 gold. And I go, you're joking. That's exactly how he does it, like, every time. Every, they're like, oh, I'll give you 30 gold for just a little drop of it. Just a little, little drop of it. And I go, bullshit you, Will. Give me 60. And they say 50. And I go, OK. So a classic bargaining scenario. Just look, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, no, you go. No, no, you. I was going to say, um, uh, Frizo steps forward and says to Janos, have you heard about this new technology where you can get that dye out of raptor eyes? And he produces two <laughs> glowing raptor eyeballs. They're not glowing. They're glowing. They're not glowing. Two... Uh, glinting in glinting? the candlelight. Okay, raptor eyeballs. Yeah. And then he's, you know you can get the dye out of these. Wait, is that a true thing? Yes. Well, I mean, look at, look at, look at, it's not, if not that's, it. if that's the case, then holy dooly, we've hit the bloody jackpot, do it. Uh, it, ta it takes a while. All right, well, look. All right, so Frizo gets the dye out of the eyeballs. Go on. He does it. Yeah, okay, how does he do that? He just does it. Yeah, explain. Uh, he squeezes them real hard and the dye comes out. It's magical. Okay, um, Frizo I... squeezes and squishes to but I quickly... raptor eyes. I quickly do a colour spray. Ooh. <laughs> You're going to cast a hostile spell in the... Oh, I thought it just made colours. <laughs> no. <laughs> I retract that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so Frizo um, just squeezes and squeezes two eyes until they pop like grapes, uh -huh. and the room seems... Purple grapes? Purple grapes? No, actually. Um, raptor blood shaped grapes. No, raptor... What colour is raptor blood? Purple, you would well, it's you actually say? More well, like a, a it's more like a mucus, really, isn't it? Like a goo inside yeah. eyeballs. It's like Viscous a translucent goo. and awful. It gets all over your hands, yeah. and then there is a silence where nobody really says anything, mm -hmm. and everybody just lets that sink in. <laughs> and Janos goes, just... Help me understand here. <laughs> Walk me through your thinking there. <laughs> what exactly was your plan? 
I, I, I assumed yeah. that you were going to... Are we, you talking to me as Janos or, as, or as, are we just I'm chatting? Janos talking to Frizo. Okay, so Frizo says, no, 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 a magician does not reveal his tricks. Right, anyway... <laughs> I like how you as, downgraded yourself from you, warlock to magician. <laughs> as you are, uh, dressed in your filthy rags, in crop top form, with not a penny between you and no weapons to speak of. Ah, think... says Phil, just shows her fist. What's, what's going on there? She has two skulls. Let me skull gloves. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm literally I'm asking fr- 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 Phil, what, what's that? What you, what'd you do that for? Hit him real hard, that'll show him. Uh, yeah, I give him, um, I sock him across the face. You sock him across the face? Yeah, with my dinosaur You're gonna gloves. You to attack him. With my skull gloves. You're gonna no, attack but him. do it playfully. Like you know how like yeah. you know how like men just punch each other sometimes. It's like yeah. a fun thing. Yeah, okay. like Oni's like like ah, come here, you little scamp, and I hit him. But it's a little bit hard because I don't really know my own strength, and they're very good gloves. All right, he, she, the, the half orc walks up to you slowly. As you do so, two of the figures with their knives stiffen upright as you walk there, and one of them takes a step forward and actually with their other hand puts half draws a sword. Without looking, I like. Whoop them both. <laughs> right. make an attack, no, make an attack roll. Two attack rolls. Yeah, all right. That is an... Uh, um, and what, what do I have? Plus four, because it's improvised weapon. So 15. 15 and a, and a seven. seven. Okay, congratulations. You attack one of the figures. Um, D4 plus your strength. <laughs> yes, I remember. That's a, a, a four plus eight. Oh, so it's eight. Excellent. All right, that's your attack. Trisul, you're up next. Um, oh, Trisul. Trisul oh. actually um, um, s- suddenly pulls out what seems to be a small trinket and throws it at the ground, which causes the power to surge up his arm, at which he points towards you and attacks quickly. Make for me a DC 14 uh, constitution saving throw. Oh. 11, 13, yet fails and you take six points of damage and you collapse to the ground in pain as lightning seems to hold you down. In and Trisel says, zap. <laughs> What's Trisel's voice again? Um, oh, oh, zap. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you are now ch- chained by these eldritch chains that seem to lock you down to the ground. Janos holds his hand up and goes, enough. We've all had a bit of fun of punchy zappy. <laughs> I, 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 I'd be the first person to say, let's, let's have a bit more punch on, let's have a bit more zap. Bring back the biff, I say, but <laughs> I'm a businessman first and foremost and a zap enthusiast second. So are we going to talk business or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what, what, what can you offer us? I can offer you a uh, passage back to Waterdeep out of this godforsaken humid hellhole. Okay. Is it humid or human? Humid. Yeah, okay. Um, I can offer you a per diem while you're here. Modest ooh. mind. I can offer you uh, some weapons, some clothes. But of course, one hand washes the other and all that. Quid pro quo. So what, go. What would be the factor non verba? That was the uh, motto of my primary school. <laughs> <laughs> Means deeds without words. And the teachers always told us that it meant, you know, if you do something good, don't go on about it. But in my adulthood, I realized it actually just meant shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. But what, what, uh, how dirty is your hand? Frieza's trying to like play the same chatty with it. Oh yeah, well it's interesting actually, I find myself uh, with a hand that needs washing with a special dye, which doesn't make sense at all, really. Have you heard about the, oh no, we've already done that. Um, (laughs) All right, so what do you need? And with that, um, he mere clicks his fingers and a figure comes forward bearing what seems to be a map. um, For it is. For it is. (laughs) And this map is um, the land uh, in the vicious jungles outside Port Nyanzaran, which is where you find yourselves, for you are indeed, as I'm sure you've guessed by now, on the continent of Chult. And now Nyanzaran Welcome is... Welcome to Chult! There you go. Oh, that all makes sense now. Mm. <laughs> this is, a, this is the, the new undiscovered world, of course. Um, a land rich in spices, dyes, and gemstones that has... Um, where small colonies of traders, particularly at Port Nyanzaran, battle against the encroaching elements and dark and terrible magics. It is an unmapped land that since the days of the spell play... There's a map What's though? the map there? Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is what I'm getting to. It is a land that is un- previously undiscovered and We where... said unmapped though. It is unmapped. I okay. okay. You just, you stick There's a lot of the map that isn't coloured in. Okay, it's, like, no. it's like a little bit okay. and then the rest. Yeah, is. and so beyond a few days' ride out into the fetid jungles, there is nothing. And so oh, much of oh, I'm calling more jungle. Yeah. Well, you'd probably, uh, you'd wish that there's nothing, but uh, actually. Well, like just a void. 
No, you wish that there's nothing, but there's terrifying. all manner of bad but, things. It's not like, oh, it's just a bit of a jungle. Did you notice, happen to notice, on your way here, how high the walls around this particular port are? We had sacks on our head. Oh, yeah. you put sacks on their head? Yeah. What, like the instrument, or? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Jam my head into the... Anyway, the water. very high walls, uh, which should give you some idea of what sort of things are out there. Nasties, ghoulies, um, uh, monsters, tigers, a bear, one of them. <laughs> He's got a gun. <laughs> Um, and indeed, this, this map shows, um, as I said, a, um, just a few days of travel outside of the port, but it also shows what seems to be a winding river that is that cuts through... Is Benny playing Careless Whisper? He is playing Careless Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> cuts through ravines and canyons that is list, uh, marked as the Akaz Rakin. And Akaz Rakin. The Akaz Rakin. And beyond this ri these rivers, just a two days by canoe outside of the port, he, um, Mira goes on to tell you that they have found a lathic turtle hatchery, a place naturally oh. where the turtles are living beyond the wild rock pools and rivers. Yeah. And uh, look, should you go uh, out of these gates and walls and fetch me this dye, uh, not only will I uh, assure that you will have passage back to Wart Deep, uh, but I'll also, uh, let's say, split some of the profits with you. Can I just ask how we extract the dye from these turtles? Leave that up to me. You have to bring back an turtle entire eggs. Tur you just oh, need turtle. Oh, turtle eggs. Okay, right, great. Okay. Okay. It's um, horrifying. Crush them in my hands. Don't. If you crush the eggs in your hands, the deal is off. Well, what are you gonna? Okay. okay. <laughs> what do you, is that the only thing you can in in That's your how you wisdom? Make dye. You crush the thing in your hands. Got one mode, don't you? It's crushing. <laughs> it's cr hand crushing. But no finesse, Frieza. Yeah. Mia goes on to. Uh, Mia begins to realize that you in the jungles will not last a few days, and he assigns you a guide. Um, a water Davian such as yourself. In fact, the man holding the map that you now see is dressed incredibly inappropriately for the stifling hot oh, climate that you find yourself in. <laughs> He's, he probably needs a crop top. He's sweating profusely through his jowls and his kind of strange, one of those beards that's like, where there's no beard and it's all oh, one of those ones that the guys have, but they, they thought, oh, this chin doesn't need any no, hair, I'll it, leave the rest. It goes from here to here. Oh, and yeah. It's big and it's bushy, and he introduces himself as Sir Grimsby Davenport. Davenport. Grimsby Davenport. Pleasure. And he holds out a real sweaty hand. Is he fat? He sounds fat. He's quite fat. Okay. That's cool. But he described it as corpulent. <laughs> yes, well, uh, <clears throat> welcome. It seems that you've come just at the right time. I am, uh, if I do say so myself, the foremost historian of the area, and um, I've been meaning to go out and map some of it. Uh, obviously, the records aren't uh, what you'd want, so, you know, for strapping young people such as yourself should be able to uh, escort me. Uh, not escort, obviously. <laughs> not, the not the noun. That's a, that's a different thing. Uh, down, uh, out past the river, we pick up the dye. I do a little bit of anthropology. Okay. And everybody has a lovely time. Sure. Now, dragon huddle. Shh. I'm, uh, I'm still being zapped on the ground, so you just kind of stand over me. You can me. huddle around. Yeah, we'll still huddle around the uh, convulsing They're not village. letting you out of the chains uh, until you leave. They're not. I think we can go without this guy, right? Is that an option, do you think? Because he's going to slow us down. I think we should get all the information and... Sure, okay, that's interesting. That's all probably, right, we'll yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. the story. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Dragon huddle over. Okay. Did you have a nice Break. huddle? No, 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 no one say anything! Uh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not allowed to tell you. <laughs> well, yes, I think that um, of this setting off sooner the better. Um, Who is that? This is the man you just met. It's Sir Grimsby Davenport. Oh, he sounded. Don't worry, keep going. You don't been know, very electrified. You don't know where I'm from. Where are you from? I'm from. I'm a Water Davian. I'm the head of the Water Davian Historical Society. Thank you very much. Huh? My old alma mater. <laughs> God's sake. What was their? Yeah, it was the motto. What was their Latin motto? Yeah. It was rah rah, go the Griffin. <laughs> Latin? That was our jousting <laughs> team. They were the Griffins. We said, we'd say rah rah, and we'd and we'd go to these oh, we'd go to these marvelous events, and we'd all get drunk on honeyed wine. Can Filch stop being zapped now? <laughs> um, is Filch sorry? Yes. Filch learned her lesson. Yes. Trisel, are you gonna let her go? Yes. Can I rip the lightning bolts <laughs> off my arms? No, no. The, the, you can you can let Trisel take the lightning bolts off your arms, which do he want, does. Do you want to throw them at Grimsby? Is that what you wanted to do? Hmm? I would advise you to stop assaulting people <laughs> in, right. in general. Fine. I'm sorry. Me sorry. <laughs> Trisel snaps his fingers, the glow Please dissipates, the chains disappear, and somewhat embarrassed, Filge gets back up to her feet. 
All right, let's go on this adventure, shall we? So That's how we start every adventure. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mir reminds you that in, he has been here for two days, and in four days' time, his very fast, very illegally equipped sloop will leave these lands. And if he leaves without you, you have no means to return to the Sword Coast. Oh. And with that warning of just four days to return with the dyes, you find yourselves being hurried through the twilight of Port Nazarene and through the Grand Souk, the central marketplace, on your way to the Old Town Gates. Yep. What's the, what's the souk like? What the can... souk is a bazaar of wet markets, dry markets, uh, places where you can get fresh ankylosaur meat. Moist markets? What do you reckon? <laughs> what, sorry? Moist markets? There, there, yeah, there are moist markets. That's damp? What... Do we need supplies? Um, no, actually you do not because you've been given A, some modest coin, but also you've been given food. However, that doesn't stop Did... uh, merchants trying to sell you charms, trinkets. Are we still in our like, prop tops? Uh, weapons. Um, he, Mir, gave us some weapons, Mir didn't he? gave you some weapons, he gave you a long sword, he gave you a short sword and a bow, and he okay. gave you, despite everything, even you, got a heavy maul. Uh, yes. And uh, did Frieza get, for example, a gun? No, Frieza, <laughs> no, absolutely a not. A grenade of sorts? So, Frieza no, got a true. short sword even shorter than Bobby's. What's a, knife. A, a dagger. <laughs> a knife. A dagger. A knife. Um, but you also, um, he was able to supply you with the inks and stuff you needed to transcribe your spell books. So, hey. Is Sir uh, Grimsby armed? Uh, so Grimsby has a, a weapon of his own devising uh, that he designed and had built for him by dwarven um, artificers, which seems to be a large elephant gun. Cool. Yeah, so it's very, very big. I as want big that as gun. Him. Uh, it's as big as him. It's as big as him. It's, slow, it's over my shoulder, right? Uh, yeah, it comes in two pieces. Yes. It, well, it's, like a, it's a bazooka? Nope. Nope, <laughs> it's an elephant gun. I use this for hunting. Here's a fun Hunt? thing. I use this to hunt elephants. When we first got here, uh, which, gosh, seems like a long time ago, there were elephants. And now, there are no elephants. As you make your way... It's still called the elephant gun. Well, it's the name. It's carved in there. Ah. And he shows you, and indeed it is. Um, in the Grand Souk, as you make your way to the gate, you suddenly feel Bobby tugging on the... You're also given some basic clothes for the region. Um, I keep the crop top. Yep. All right. Congrats. Right, that's fine. Uh, you tugging on you, you see, and you see a, a pathetic um, urchin, native Chilton um, child, who holds up a bowl to you—a small wooden bowl that is empty. And and uh, Sir Grimsy goes, "Oh, here we go." Um, I I say, um, I give them a small coin. Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Here you go. Be on your way." Uh, the child holds up five fingers. I say, and, says, and I give a high five. And points at the coin and holds up five fingers, and then with their other hand holds up what seems to be a block of disgusting smelling oily talc. Oh, honestly, come on, you're embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing me. Can Talking we Talking to the urchin? Yes. Uh, Frizo steps in, gives the, gives the child five coins, and takes the. What? All right, you have a, a block of, of oily talc. What's talc? What's talc? It's, it's like, it, it looks like a kind of dry, it's been like dried out um, oils mixed with fats and incenses and it smells really sharp. And um, tell you what, you know what, you know what you've just done? He'll spend that on food and be back tomorrow. So well done. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fine. Yeah. It's fine for him to buy um, food. cool with that. Right. Right. What is this commonly used for? Oh, I don't bloody know. Do I know? No. Mir um, <laughs> takes you through the gates, and then you find yourselves at the foot of the Atars Rakin, the Akaz Rakin, or at least the tributary into the Rakin. And there, there are canoes which have been laid out by Mir's men. Um, there are four canoes which you can divide amongst yourselves. But I get one for myself. There are three canoes which you can divide <laughs> amongst yourselves. Mm. Do I have like a porter or something? Uh, no, you don't. Okay. But you um, have so a big gun, do... a parasol, and a big backpack. So yep. Phil, Phil chops into the canoe and she puts Bobby in between her legs. And I'll go with Frieza. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, we should take the. No, You've got a spare canoe. Have, yeah, I'll take, the, I'll take the other canoe. We want three canoes. And you're putting me with the, with the dude? No, no, you've yeah, got right. your own one. Everyone's got their own. So Bobby and Phil are oh, sharing. Wait, are they yeah. kayaks or canoes? This is madness. <laughs> <laughs> they are canoes. But, but Frieza yep. ties two pals together and makes a. a, a, a very good. Cool. kayak. Yeah, no, they're kayaks. Um, okay. Now, you make your way down the Akaz Rakin, um, and that night, uh, you have to keep, obviously, time is of the essence. So, at the urging of Davenport, you continue rowing through. Luckily, you're mostly just keeping yourselves off the banks, for the river is starts languid, but begins to grow in strength, and you realize that you are approaching rapids. Um, you this is the life, isn't it? On the trail, going down the... Re reminds one of the regattas. Rah, rah, the griffins, we'd say. Rah, rah. He doesn't did, did shut you know, up like, all through the night. Did you do, like, jousting on boats? 
This is boat jousting. It's jolly fun. <laughs> and we'd go, oh, there's Timmy. Oh, Timmy, you rotter. You know, we'd, we'd, just, we'd just rile each other up like that. We'd say, Timmy, you, oh, you, you, you pet, you, ah, you're a, you're a bad man. You're a murderer. And, and he'd go, oh, so, oh stop it. it was... <laughs> the water is still gentle enough that you can probably, some of you can catch sleep as long as some of you keep a lookout for sharp rocks. Um, sudden waterfalls. And we so could like tether the canoes. Yeah, together. that's right. right. Uh, Frieza does not need to sleep, so Frieza will not sleep. Great. Is um, anyone sleeping? So you're I'll, keeping. I'll sleep. You're yeah. sleeping. Sleeping. Yeah. I'll snooze. You're keeping watch, then, Frieza. Yeah. Is 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 old mate over there asleep? Already, he has erected a parasol and is snoring loudly. Okay. I, <laughs> I very quickly, uh, Frieza just while he's sleeping you're after in a, a while. Different boat. Yeah, but they're they're tied together, aren't they? They are. So he he kind of waddles across. And he just rifles through the pockets to see what he finds. <laughs> of my pockets? Yes. Yeah. All right, quickly, first of all, make two checks for me. I want you to make a stealth check, which stealth is DC. Check. Um, I'm going to say the stealth is, is 15, only moderate, but the dexterity is Two! Clang, <laughs> clang, clang. Now, dexterity <laughs> as well. There's two things that you're doing uh, here. 16 plus dexterity. So Ooh. you're very dexterous, Three. but you're Three. very loud. Yeah. 19. Which unfortunately is the worst possible option because it means you make your way onto the boat and you are just about to rifle through his pockets when Grimsby's eyes <clears throat> snap open. I say, what's the game here, man? Uh, uh, have you thought about unionizing? Because... <laughs> <laughs> make a perception check for me. Uh, two again. All right, excellent. Can you also make a perception check yes. for me? I got a five. All right, great. Um, neither of you seem to spot anything, and you continue your argument. What's you, what you, you bloody thief? No, I wasn't stealing anything, sir. Well, what you, on your canoe, you have a perfectly serviceable canoe over there. I was just checking to see that your canoe wasn't sinking. Well, why would you bloody think it was sinking? Because I drilled a hole in it before. <laughs> and at that moment, you suddenly feel a sharp um, oh, no. bump on the canoe, and all of you wake up because black falls. It was bow, wasn't it? No, it was, that's fine. That, the, all the sounds are fine. Like an arrow? No, it no. was like a black ball. Um, a ball. Like a, ball. Like a car a tire. Ball. And they oh. start dropping from oh, the no. jungle foliage above you, landing in the water, but also some of them in the canoes with splashes. And now we go straight into combat because oh, as they no. land, they uncoil and hiss. And these are giant centipedes. Oh, no. Oh, how many centipedes are there? About the length of this table. Um, let's say that uh. two of them land in the boat with you, Bobby. Uh, and me. No, um, Bobby, and, yeah, yep, Phil, yeah. for the two of you, only one for you, Baston, and in your boat, yep. um, Sir Grimsby's but, boat, but which is now also Frieza's boat, boat yeah. there is two as well. Uh, and did any land in Frieza's empty boat? Um, yep, for three. <laughs> so your boat is full of, full of them. The, the rest right. of them splash into the water. We go straight into combat, and because you didn't spot them and you guys were asleep, the centipedes go first. So I'm going to go through them very quickly. The One of them hits... Um, let's say it hits you, Bobby. How do they hit you though? Like they suck her on, and they, they sort got, of they got teeth, mandibles, and claws. Oh, yeah, it's disgusting. I cannot stress Gross. enough how disgusting this Empire is. Balls. Um, it hits you, Bobby, but only for three damage. But now I want you to make a DC 11 Constitution save. You make it, no problem. Yep. Other one misses you, Filge. Quickly, Baston, you yours misses, and the two of them. Don't attack uh, no, Grimsby. No, no, I, I point of order, they'd attack Grimsby because he's bigger. No, but you're leering over him. You are menacingly standing over him in his bags, All protecting right. him. One hits and the other one doesn't, so you also take Frizo three points of damage and make a DC 11 constitution save. Oops, sorry, that's a... Uh, Which you fail. Fail that. And you start to feel um, that there's something very wrong with the bite, and it feels deathly cold already, and you begin, despite the heat, to shiver. Now, next up is you, Bobby. Oh, I, um, the one that bit me, I uh, slashed it in with my uh, sword. Yep. Uh, that's a... 20, that's 20. a natural 20. Oh! Really good. All right, Did it, baby. So you, 2d6. Did you say that's amore? Yeah. All right, congratulations. That's enough. You, you kill, kill it. You okay, fillet sorry. that centipede. Right. Um, and the next one up is you, Baston. Oh, I want to, how many are in my boat? Uh, just one. Just the one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make an attack with my sword. Yep. I'm gonna slash at him. Seven plus five. Uh, What's my attack? That's probably not. Uh, five today, is twelve. It? It's not just not enough. Darn it. Next up is Sir Grimsby. Everybody, there's a centipede situation. <laughs> don't let it bite you. Damn it! It's of the utmost importance that you don't let these rotters bite you. And he takes the um, blunderbuss thing. 
and he doesn't shoot it. No, he it takes a turn to assemble. Well, okay, well then he just fucking kicks one then. All right, go for it. I'm kicking it with my <laughs> foot. And that's an 18. 18. All right, congratulations. Um, and so you kick it, that's a d4 plus um, two for your strength, three points. Um, you actually mortally wound it. These things are really soft and squishy and gross. Oh, like bugs are. Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> and he says, I killed the bug. <laughs> <laughs> it, but he didn't, and we all saw it. I, the bug's very hurt, everyone. The bug is very hurt. Um, <laughs> Great. Okay, we, you've had your go best on. Yes. Oh, can I do? Can I use my uh, action surge to do another action? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so I missed it. So I want to rip it in half. Yeah. Okay, I'm making another attack. Oh, two. All right, that's when you never use action surges. And the next up is you, Frieza. Uh, okay, Frieza. Do, do, do these count as beasts? Actually, quickly make a. Just... <laughs> Don't. Don't. What? what? Don't. Do, not, do not unionize the bugs. Why? I just think that... check. They'll be more powerful if they unionize. Uh, eight plus no, that, whatever it was, yeah, I probably plus, failed. No, ten. That's all you need. Oh, good. I got it then. One thing that you notice is that in this kerfuffling in the boat, one of them falls against the pack. Which no, you don't notice anything because you left your boat because you're an idiot. Go on. All right. Uh, so, uh, what's what's the, what's the voice of the caterpillars? Well, centipedes. Are they are they sentient? Uh, no, they're they, beasts. Beasts. Beast. Centipedes. centipedes. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? They have an intelligence score, so they are sentient. It's an incredibly low intelligence score. They're minus five intelligence. So this needs to be very dumb. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> the only one of us who successfully attacked you. Okay. Is the fat one. Yeah. Well, you should all... Look at all these hands. I've got so many hands. I've got so many bloody hands. You keep oh. going this conversation, I'm going to use your entire turn. Attack the fat one. All Attack right. the what? So uh, Frieza picks one up and throws it at the fat man. Make a DC 11 constitution you check. You call him that. Uh, five. Oh, not at all. Did not make that. Good seven. idea. Toss him off the boat. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> You've bloody done it. <laughs> Great, okay. Um, so the shivering poison is starting to make you feel delirious. Uh, you, tr you just try to grab one, but it's too slippery, and your hands are presumably still covered in dried raptor eye gunk, and it slips to the ground. And the next up is you, Filge. So Filge, when she was um, in the Shadowrun adventure from before, learnt tennis, corporate tennis games. This, this happened. You have forgotten everything. She, but there's, it's instinct. Is it? So she picks one of them up All and right. like grabs her maul and like does like a Serena Williams like tennis serve. Okay. Um, and she like bops it into the water. A post strength check. Um, I rolled a four. Aha, I rolled a 16. You grab one of them, punt them five feet off the boat, they splash into the water and fall in the rapids behind you. She says ace, but she doesn't know what it means. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> and the next up is you, Bobby. Um, How many are left? That's, I've got no more in my boat. No more. Um, we work. Baston's still got one in Bastion his boat. I've got one in my boat. Yep, goes Baston. So, so, so I'll, out of the boat? So okay. I'll uh, twang get it. my short bow, uh, give, it a, give it a red hot twang, and I'll say um, uh, nine plus four, 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 four. Yeah. Plus six. What do you get? What do you get? Yeah. Uh, which 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 is the check you're doing? You got a nine plus five. You made yeah. it. So yeah, okay. that hits. D six plus two. Uh, it looks like I'm sent impeding you. I say. And that kills the. Oh, that was good. Oh. Yeah. There's the pun. It took me a really long time to come up with it. Can you get a yeah. dice of inspiration for that? No. No. It's not, not worth it. That's not. Yeah. No. The okay. joke goes That's right over Baston's head. Doesn't get it. What? <laughs> um, so you, um, that kills the last of them. And at that point, your canoe, a freezer with all of your goods and stuff, um, because of this scuttling, oh, come on. centipedes crashes oh. into the rocks and your pack sinks below the um, water. So what? He doesn't have his magic book? Um, no, I, I think you, you wear your I would, magic uh, Yeah, I, I keep it in my, my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've told me that before. You like strap it to your shirt, underneath your shirt or something. That's, uh, think lower. <laughs> I chose to understand it as you strapped it under your shirt. <laughs> All right. Oh, but he's got it tied in a midriff, doesn't he? So where does it? Yeah, it's it's in my it's in my jocks. Okay. All right, so you I'm lost. wearing it to protect myself. All from you goons. have is your dagger and your spellbook. You lost all your food. You lost your canoe. You lost your wet weather gear. And I'm delirious now as well. You are very delirious. So am I saying like crazy stuff that Frieza would never say? Is that? Um, yeah. So what's that sound like? Oh, I love the fat man. I'm not going to try and kill him. All right, okay. Yeah, um, it's nice of you to say. <laughs> and um, you Grimsby, say? you've got nothing to worry about. Unfortunately, also that this was your canoe also had all of the camping gear, which you guys were going to use. So at this point, um, Grimsby suggests that you 
pull to the shore. You're still about a day's canoe away from the Turtle Die Rock Pools, okay. um, but you guys make your way up onto the shore. What Dave. say we pull to the shore? Uh, Dave, I think you're being a lot harder on us in this round than you were when we play back home. How do you reckon? Well, just like we're losing a lot of stuff. I think you're trying to show off for all the people watching. You know? <laughs> yeah, you're trying it to just, show how mean you can yeah, be. Yeah, it just, it, just, it just seems like you're being real mean to us, and I think that... I think another way of looking at it is you've had this a long time coming. <laughs> Yeah, oh, well, yeah, but I think if you want, should we take a vote to see if Dave should be nicer to us? You can certainly take that vote. Sure, go. Just the vote to see Dave be nice to us. I choose to stay in the world and I pull the canoe over to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that under advisement, Hank. Um, so you guys make your way onto the. I'm not going to make you roll for that because I'm nice. And you. That tone was not any. Really <laughs> you get onto the shore. Um, quickly. Um, you pull out a tinderbox and then very slowly you get a I'm going to find a date, is what he says. <laughs> no. 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 And you light a torch, which he holds aloft, and by the light of the torch, you can see for the first time the jungle banks that you found yourselves in, and every tree seems to have strange coloured ropes tied to it, uh, sharp dinosaur horns lashed and even pierced into the trunks and jutting like effigies, warnings even, around this area, you see dozens of wooden masks, each snarling in the light of the torch and shaped like a fierce ant. Like a giant ant man. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to say something else. Yeah, yeah I really like thought scary. I was going somewhere else. I really was not expecting an ant. Like a fire ant. Yeah, but if you had a, a big ant, it would be scary. This is a big ant. Oh, you should also say for our American listeners, you're not saying aunt, you're saying ant. What do you... So I, you, I think, think they will be able to, with context, pick that up. Okay. These are snarling mothers-in-law. Like, yeah. No, no, that's not an aunt. That's not an mother aunt. Sister. That's that's aunt is a mother sister. Yeah. 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 Or, or a father sister. She's um, got a very outdated haircut. They're saying haircut. things like, "I thought you'd be married by now. Yeah. <laughs> what are you having kids?" Oh. Um, a hush. Believe it or not, falls. Oh, it was a racist article. <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading all of them on zero hedge. <laughs> Uh, Grimsby um, walks up to goes, one well, of them and taps it. Well, that's a bit bloody interesting. And he, yeah, he walks up to one of the, the giant and he goes, I've, I've heard tell of this. And he takes out his big kind of folio and starts jotting stuff down and, and drawing it. And he's like, if I'm not mistaken, this is the tribe of the biting ants? Mm. Yeah, good. Well done. <laughs> Who's he checking with? Uh, himself. Okay. <laughs> he just this, fades out. This is the tribe of the biting ants and they're a bunch of bloody blighters. I'll tell you that much for free. How you fight them? How you fight them? Well, you don't. I'd run away. <laughs> but I'm a coward, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just say, uh, if, if you were to encounter any of these people, there's no parlay, there's no chit-chat, there's no, I'll give you this if you give me that. Tell you what their bloody is, the pointy end of a sword. And as he in says... In gooch. <laughs> like in John Wick 2. <laughs> And as he says that... I wish I didn't let you watch that on the plane. <laughs> as he says that, um, uh, Davenport clicks his elephant gun together and there's a ratcheting sort of loud sort of click sound that seems to echo out loud, unnecessarily loudly. I think Benny wants to do the sound. I don't know if I... Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's sure. really good. Um, I grab one of the masks and okay. put it on. Now, I want to put a mask on too. These masks are not shaped for hum human heads. Um, they, this, they, they in fact look like they're probably worn by goblins. And do you know? Oh. Um, in fact, uh, Davenport tells you that the biting ant tribe is a tribe of Batiri goblins. These are um, sort of transitory nomadic goblin tribes that travel throughout the jungles of Chult following the inscrutable orders and needs of their war god Magubliet. 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 Now, how much does Grimsby know about these goblins? Anything? I know, I know a fair bit. Yes. Well, actually, it, no, I reckon just, he knows heaps. Quiz him. I, uh, I, I did a dissertation back in Waterdeep. I, I, it was a bit of a hit, to be honest, uh, about tribes such as these. So, do they have any currency? Do they have? It, it depends. Some of them deal in shells. Other deal in arrowheads. Some of them in uh, exotic dyes. Would anyone? What, oh. Ooh, my, oh. Uh, oh. what form does their god take? What for, well, that's an interesting story. It depends who you ask, really. You. Uh, We're asking you. Uh, right. Well, good. Uh, yes, well, uh, according to, to my... Uh, uh... He's stalling. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, Magubliet is, of course, the Batiri uh, goblin god of war. His visage is that of a, of a snarling giant orc, and his effigies are holy... Uh, relics. Now, because they're a transitory people, they build these relics all through the jungle, usually of wood, sometimes of bone and stone, and these are sacred sites for the Batiri. And he, he, um, he makes it very clear to you that 
the Bateria goblins, violent as they are, become insanely violent when anything is done to their sacred sites. Um, where is nearest uh, Relic? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, like, the, the, the layout of these camps, they're all unique, they're all different, but if we wanted to take a wander, I dare say it wouldn't be long before we found one. Uh, Not that I'd advise that, of course. I get um, two canoes and I strap them to my body, like one in front and one behind. For so let me just visualise this. Makeshift armour. So hang on. So you, yeah. so you have a canoe strapped to your front. Front. You, you have a canoe strapped to your back. back. You have a skull on this hand. Yeah. So you drop your mole. Oh, you know, I see you took one off. Yeah. yeah. So you lost a skull. It shatters when you punch. It's not very good. Yeah, no. And um, one use skull glove. Yeah. All right. So you, 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 the canoes, you empty, I presume, all the provisions, yeah. the extra torches out into the banks. Just on the ground. So they can pick them up if they want them. All right. Um, and then I run around looking for a relic. Just by yourself. Oh, they can follow if they want. I'm not going to tell them what to do. I'm going to help Filge. Are there any vines? There are vines everywhere. I, I'm going to say, have at ye vines and start just hacking vines. Nice. All right. Just into the jungle. Okay, so you're all making a lot of noise. Is that the take home? I'm just going to uh, quietly get as many uh, provisions as I can carry <laughs> and uh, keeping an eye on them so they don't go too far Great. away. Great. As you make no all of this noise, um, it seems to attract attention for suddenly you see glowing red eyes. First of all, you're two, cool. then two more, then two again, as four tiny figures appear on the other bank of the river looking at you. They're holding spears that are wrapped in feathers and raptor teeth. Each of them are in tiny little loincloths, um, sort of, again, banded in belts and sort of chains. They seem to love shiny things and brilliantly colored silks. And they're goblinoid, but the most striking figure thing about them is that they are wearing beautifully carved wooden masks that give them the impression of being almost a foot taller that they, than they are in the shape of snarling fire ants and coming off them huge feathers that are dyed in brilliant ir iridescent lathic turtle blue. Oh, so they're going to want that dye as well. The four of them stand there, two of them point spears at you, two of them unsling bows and one of them hold, um, holding that spear takes it turns it and drops it on the ground and then the other three do likewise as they drop their weapons in front of them. Okay, I take my weapons and I do the same thing. I lay them on the ground and I face them with my hands up like this. Mm -hmm. What do you I got? I follow suit. Okay, you're dropping your weapons, dropping your weapons. I like just hang jauntily from a vine and also drop my sword. Okay. Um, Razor lost all his weapons. Davenport is like, well you're making a terrible mistake here but and then he puts his own blunderbuss down too. Great. Um, suddenly, to, you've suddenly realised as the moment that you do this that it was perhaps well advised for suddenly you see more eyes around you as four more goblins on your side of the bank drop silently down from vines around you and one of them coming up only to about your waist, Filge, identifying you naturally as the leader, walks up and in a very thick accent that nevertheless you can understand introduces herself as Boss Yakka. Um, yeah, if you want it. Uh, bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben, why don't you play boss, Yaka? I am. Bonjour. <laughs> now you, you go. Uh, uh, bonjour. I am boss, Yaka. No, hang on. Uh, what, are you going to do all the goblins? We, we are the goblins of the batting ant tribe. We are uh, outrageously French. <laughs> <laughs> so just five minutes before this, when I, when I gave you guys just some of the basic character, oui? like, oui? and then oui? I saw you giggling in the corner. How you say yes. All right. Well, I figured, Dave, that they learned the common tongue from the people who talk like this. <laughs> there was a man who wandered into the jungle, and this is just how we learned. Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> OK, sure. This is uh, this Boss Yakka. Um, uh, can I say that it was a toss-up between this and Werner Herzog? So I think you've actually done quite well. Right. Can I just hear a bit of Werner? Yeah, I would have liked that. Okay. Hello. It's like, hello <laughs> and welcome to the jungle. Deep in the We've... jungle, this is where we have our tribe. It's a biting ant. <laughs> I, I actually like that a lot better. Yeah. 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 Tribe of Herzogs. Like Herzogs. Tribe of Herzogs. Yeah. Okay, so, Herzogs. so uh, Boss Yaka okay. introduces herself to you, Filch. Uh, Filch. Oh, whatever your name is. Oh, I can see your name tag. Uh, I am Boss Yaka of the Biting Ant Tribe. Um, Field, like, kneels down so she's on her level and, like, does, like, a 
what she thinks is a bow that they would enjoy. Yep. So she just kind of like puts her hands together like that and bows. Bit of that. Bit of that. Yep. And she says, greetings, me Filch. Of the tribe. Of the tribe. Dragon. Dragon friends. friends. Oh, you sound most fearsome. Uh, mo most fearsome. <laughs> yes, Werner Herzog. Come, I would introduce you to the, uh, the queen of our tribe. Yes, where we are taking you, there are snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there will be a great ceremony which we would like for you to be guests at. That's where the snacks are. It's a package deal. So Phil, Like you can't just go, oh, I'll have a snack and not some ceremony. You must eat the snacks if you wish to come to the ceremony. And vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, I think they get uh, it. Uh, 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 we you don't understand this unless Filge tells you. Uh, Filge says, guys, they won't give us big snack time. <laughs> so they're speaking orcish? They're speaking orcish. Right, okay. Uh, is, is it possible that we are going to be the snacks though? I've seen movies like this where this happens. What's you know? a movie? What? No, no, I'm just... No, that's, right, okay. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I think it's like I, John Wick 2. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's plausible that we're going to end up being the snacks. Can I have a dra we, can we have a dragon huddle? Dragon so, huddle, quickly. My name, I, I rustle Grimson, still my name. Are you getting in on like... this dragon huddle? Not invited. Oh, no, no, I couldn't possibly. Not invited. Guys. Hello. You feel kind of uncomfortable with this whole turtle raiding situation. Uh huh. You feel like we could switch sides oh. and not ruin the adventure too much. <laughs> we, could, we could join. You mean we join these fire ant tribes? Yeah. Hey, what's your Werner Herzog sound like? Oh hello. oh, hello. I make d documentaries, I'm pretty sure. What is this? He's a very austere man. Yes. yes. Um, could you teach us some phrases that we could say to ingratiate ourselves to this tribe? This man got eaten by a bear. <laughs> That's the only one I've seen. This man got eaten by a bear. And I bow very low. That's yes. our word. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we... We agree. We're going yeah, to go right, with yeah. them. Yeah, okay. we're going um, with them. So we all we um, boss Yaka. Um, yeah, and... boss Yaka signals um, to the Batiri, and you see something that not many people outside of Chult have seen before, um, because the Batiri on the other banks jump on each other's shoulders until one of them is high enough to reach the vines and the trees above their heads, and they swing in one basically pylon across the river and land separately, the three of them. They're all very acrobatic. I do the same thing. I jump on top of Bobby's shoulders. Oh, God. Make a string. Instantly Make a killing him. <laughs> That's a six That's a minus one. That's a five. All right. Oh, um, a you, fall, you fall down in a, a, when a big a half orc swept up in the moment lands on your shoulders. Now, the, um, as you um, are led further and further into the jungle, Boss Yaka, um, he seems to be chattering very excitedly, but in hushed tones to her envoys, and two of the party peel off into the darkness. So now there's only six of them following you. Um, after a, what seems like 15, 20 minutes, she takes you to a clearing that is empty. There's no, there doesn't seem to be any uh, village here. Okay. It's a sort of em empty space. Okay. Um, and Eva promised snacks. At that point, <laughs> She makes a, she gives a, what seems to be a kind of bird call. You're killing me here, Dave. Like, we could have... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Very good. At that moment, um, a sort of, again, ropes descend from above, and for the first time you look up and you see high up in the canopy what seems to be, uh, I guess the uh, traditional term is an Ewok village. Oh! <laughs> oh. Um, like a Christmas special, I see. Yeah, yes. like a Christmas is uh, slung in the trees above you, and um, they're all knotted vines, very easy to ascend, and in fact, even for the clumsier of you, a sort of crude palanquin is lowered down, and you are pulled up into the canopy. When you get up there, you see a wooden platform and there are small huts built into all the trees around you, but this platform seems to be a ceremonial space that has a raised dais. And on the top of that dais, you see a wooden figure of a snarling goblin um, that is almost, you know, something like nine feet tall. It's this huge wooden figure and its eyes are shining Firestones, each of them as big as your fist and would command something like a thousand gold pieces in the markets of Waterdeep. These are huge, expensive gemstones. Well, in the I eyes. bloody say, that's a bit nice. And in front of the effigy on a throne, 
of spears, each of them with a, what seems to be a tabaxi cat head skull on them. You can see a figure with a powerful headdress and huge, the largest, shiniest outfit. And this is Baba Striggy, the queen of the biting ant tribe. Hello, and welcome to my place. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Don't, do, don't do that. Oh. Actually, as she says that, a figure which seems to be a more uh, sword coastian goblin who is chained to the side of her chair translates that into common for you. Grimmest? Sorry? Grimmest? Sure. It's like, oh, can I um, It's, um, she says, hello, welcome. Um, oh my god, it's you people! Hey, Grim Girl! Hey, it's Grim Girl! It's Gribbets. You recognize your friend Gribbets from the Grim Sword Coast. The what? Why? I don't. Oh. This is so unfair. How did you end up here, it's little Gribbets? It's not Gribbets. important. Oh. They keep bringing us together, oh, old friend. Gribbets. And giving like a noogie. Our old goblin lawyer. It's so lovely to see you. I haven't heard you in at least two seasons now. Yeah, look, hi, guys. Um, Okay, well. What's the deal? Her deal? Well, she's bloody the queen of the biting ants. What's your deal? We're here to get some, uh, wink. What, are you, what is that? <laughs> and then I blink. <laughs> we're, here what are get, you? we're here to get the, uh, special stuff. <laughs> what are you, what? Look, I mean, like, I don't know what you're doing here, but I can tell you what you're not doing. You're not bloody leaving. Oh. Nobody leaves this camp once the queen summoned them. Because it's a pleasure paradise? <laughs> <forever>. <laughs> That's the, that's the noise he makes. He goes, Bruh! At that moment, um, more goblins come out with platters of uh, what seem to be raw meat. Um, snacks! Um, snacks, please. And they, they all go, welcome, enjoy some chips. Fruits, but also stranger dishes. You see like um, snakes laid out around plantains and bananas. Um, a, a platter of raptor eyes is um, set out. Are these raw or cooked? Uh, they seem raw. They're like arancini bolts. Ah, okay. Uh, little Frito tooth, little tooth crushes picks. them in his hands. <laughs> okay, that's really offensive culturally. Okay, then he gets to lick his hands. That's yeah. a way to saying that, yeah, but yeah. no. Nah. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Uh, it yum, yum, yum. Actually, can you make one more constitution check for me? Oh, All of I'm you. Still poisoned. Um, are you guys going to eat the food? Uh, yeah. That's a nine plus my constitution. I got an 18. Of two, 11. All right, okay, cool. What do you add? Um, so, all of you regain a hit dice. Um, you can just call it seven hit points each, except Yay. for you, Frieza, who you don't gain any life back. Except for you, Frieza. Yeah, you, no, I, yep, I heard you the first time. You're, um, the shivering is in fact taking hold and you are now starting to find it difficult to talk. Um, and oh, uh, Baba Strigi notices this and um, she says something. To Gribbits. To Gribbits. Yep. And Gribbits goes, she says that you look real crook. Like you, it's, I mean, as much as I, <laughs> we're up to me, but they've got some pretty good doctors. Is that, you need, you need, you need a little hand? What happened? Uh, so Frieza's still delirious, right? He's like, you got nothing to worry about. I'm not gonna murder the fat one. Yeah, he is Stop very it. unwell. Stop yeah, he was bitten by, he was bitten by a centipede. Frieza, turn it down. And then I'm he not. says that to Bubba. Yeah, so you said he was bitten to a centipede? Yeah, yeah, yeah Gribbets hears that? Yep. yep. And what does he do? Um, and Gribbets goes, oh, okay. Um, they, they, they were bitten by the centipedes. He must have shivering sickness quickly. And one of the goblins brings forward um, a jar of what looks to be a foul, oily smelling talc and gives it to you. And they begin to, the goblins begin to rub it into the wound. Oh. Um, can I do something as uh, Davenport? Yeah. While that's happening, Davenport goes up to the queen mm -hmm. and says, Hello, um, so Grimsby Davenport. Um, perhaps you've read some of my work. Uh, or, no, whatever, that's fine. Uh, Look, I am the president of the uh, Water Davian Historical Society. We're a little group of history fans. Um, and that idol with, the, um, with those lovely little eyes. Oh, someone tackle him, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him. Tackle looks him, tackle enormously him. Uh, culturally uh, relevant and, and important. And I just think it's in the jungle here. And I just um, and shove myself in be... front of him and I say, Magubliet, and I, venerate it and I lean down before it and I okay, touch, my, touch my head to the, the pattern and I try and push back Grimsby. That impresses the goblins because of course the, they do worship Megubliet and that is in fact who the effigy is. So I need you actually at this point because you guys have been eating the feast, you've been doing well, you've been licking your raptor eyes, 
quickly make for me just a um, simple, we'll call it just a persuasion check. I know Bobby is leading this one. Okay, that's 15 Bobby's, plus three yeah. crowds. Oh, did, did you all roll 15? Yep. Unbelievable. Rolled, yeah, 13 plus what yes, are the 15. Um, and I was going to give you advantage, but that's already enough. So you have impressed um, yes. Striggy, and her old wizened face cracks into a laugh and a smile, and she invites you to spend the night where she promises a feast in the morning even greater than the one you're currently having. Oh, great, so I guess they're staying, cool. Um, some uh, goblins lead you away to a tent that looks suspiciously purloined. Um, it seems to be very much a sort of Chilton human tent, but it's big enough to accommodate all of you, including Sir Grimsby. Are we on in, this, in the canopy or are we on the you're, ground? No, you're still in the canopy. Okay. Yeah. Um, Is Gribbit sleeping with us? No, Gribbit sleeps chained, chained to, the, to chair. the chair. Okay. And where well, he's happier. I'm happy. I've, I've, I've been doing really well, guys. Um, I, I whisper something to Bubba Striggy, and like she probably nods and lets. And I say, guys, let's bring Gribbits with us. So I take the chair. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Uh, this is DC 20. Ooh. Oh, you went from 19 to 9. Uh, yeah, she doesn't right. let you take her throne, funnily enough. I like the chair. I appreciate. Uh, your liking of the chair, but that's where I sit. That's where my bottom goes. And as you make yourselves into the way into the tent, you have a moment for the first time since you've been with the goblins amongst yourselves in private. Is Davenport there? Yeah, Davenport's with them. I was like, dude, that's not cool. Do not go. I, I see what you're doing there. See what? What? Who's doing? I'm just simply admiring something of cultural significance that you know would, would look wonderful in a glass cabinet and water dear, but tell you that much for free. Right now, I'm just sitting in the jungle. How getting well do you think they'll up. take that? How well do you think the queen would take you transposing her? Uh... Well, I suppose that really depends on how nimble your little fingers are. Well, the thing is, you're feeling switched... much better, by the way, now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, been... uh, Frizo then back to his normal self announces to Grimsby. I was lying before when I said I wasn't going to hurt you, but if you touch those rubies, we've switched sides now, and I will witch bolt you so hard. <laughs> All right, fine, fine, fine by me. I'm happy to be outvoted. So you guys are going to just go to bed? Yep. And you're going to base? Yep, great. Um, just I'm to gonna... clarify, have we decided to stay here and live with the goblins forever? Yes. No, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm actually curious to know the answer to that myself. Wait, we're going to we're going to spend a bit of time with the goblins, get strong again, and then we've only got four days, so we'll spend a couple of days here. You know, they we'll seem to have turtle die. This is They've true. Died. Yeah, the, the yeah um, we feel like we can come to some sort of arrangement that isn't stealing from another culture. I'll be honest, this is much more peaceful than I'm used to, but uh, <laughs> all right, fine. Um, and as I lie down to bed, I pretend to sleep so I can keep an eye on Grimsby. Okay, great. So you're not actually going to sleep, but the rest of you are going to sleep? I'm sleeping. That's no, correct. doesn't sleep, actually. No, but are you going to meditate, read your spell book? For four hours, yeah. Yep, all right, cool. Um, I'm just going to walk wistfully like along the, 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 like, the rope bridges. You know, just take the night air, just think about life. All right. <laughs> is, is best on working through some stuff? Yeah, it's like I just thought that we'd, you know, kill them all, but <laughs> I guess this is fine. <laughs> and, as Baston, and as Baston wonders, those lonely rope bridges, the dragon friends already in their tents, asleep, meditating, perhaps waiting for an ambush that may or may not eventuate. They, it strikes all of you, not for the first time, that your journeys have taken you yet further from home than ever. For on these distant and dark shores, it seems that the gateway to home and that little village of Daggerford is now so far beyond you as to render it impossible to access. How can four of you with no provisions, no ship, and just the promise of a crook like Davin Mir find yourself? Janos Mir is his name. I'm doing fine. How can four such as you make your way home? And will these jungles claim you as they have claimed so many before? For the answers to questions such as these, tune in to this special series of Twitch streams being performed by us in Australia <laughs> on this website, I suppose. The Adventures in Chult and the Tomb of Annihilation and these, the Dragon <laughs> Friends. Thank you. Hey. I got that. The, the, the important thing is you just, you have to keep going. You have to keep going. <laughs> if you keep stop, going. bad oh things happen. Uh, thanks, Internet. Thank you, Internet. Thanks, Internet. Thanks, Internet. Thanks, Internet. Thanks, Internet.
Hey, I need to do away. Hey, come on well, now. Uh, we're still on television. What's <laughs> happening? We, uh, yeah, we're still on internet. Yeah, we're still on internet. You should have We're still on the internet, so oh, he's yeah. telling me i got to keep playing. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Those people. I think we got there. It was really wild.